Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fung with week three viola lesson. In this week's lesson, we begin to read and pluck through the G string sets of notes and our lowest string, the C string sets of notes. In addition to reading our notes this week, we will be starting the bow hold and to do the motions with the bow. But first, let's look at the G string note itself. We're on page 16 of our All for Strings book. And in the blue box, you'll see that the bubble, the note head, is in the bottom space right above the bottom line. Each time we see this note in this spot, we'll recognize it as G and we will pluck the G as we go along. So this is what the G string note looks like. Coming down to the bottom of our page, we have the open C string. Now on number 17 it says C and E string, but only if we were to practice with the basses and the violins will the group be playing 17 with the E strings. But because it's only the violas, you don't need to see the E strings, it's only as C strings. This is the C string, our lowest string on the viola. And you'll see there's one ledger line here, the dash, and the bubble below the ledger line. In order for them to draw the notes any lower from the five music staff lines, they have to draw imaginary ledger lines or additional ledger lines. So each time you see this, the note below the bottom ledger line here, that is C, and you will pluck or play C. On to the second part of our lesson this week. We reviewed the bow hold, and, the, and we started to write down the instructions on how to create a bow hold. The bow hold is probably one of the most important things of playing the viola. Why? Because the bow makes the sound. It, without the bow, we'll only end up plucking. So it's very important that we get the bow hold right, the motions here, how to hold it, and how to draw the bow up and down. And there are four steps very easily. First, we have to create a cup motion, as if we're holding onto a cup or a claw. And the fingers must be bent. You'll see that when the fingers are bent, they are relaxed. And when we let our arms hang on the side of our bodies, they are curled. They are curled so that there are no straight joints. Each time we straighten a joint, we'll tend to push or squeeze, and then we get tired and we become sore. That's where we can get injured or we will feel like we don't want to play anymore. So we always want to keep our hand very, very relaxed with the fingers curled. Okay, so with the left hand, you'll hold on to the stick so that you have, you have some control with the bow while we're piecing together the bow hold. This is the frog area of the bow, and this is the stick. With the right hand, we create a cup, our claw, and with the thumb, step one, we'll bend the thumb and put the tip of the thumb underneath the rubber grip. Most of your bows have this rubber grip right here. We'll bend the thumb, put the thumb underneath the rubber grip. The second step, we'll keep the thumb there. We'll bring the middle three fingers, the pointer, the middle, and the ring finger over the stick. They'll flow over the stick. Notice that the fingertips are not sitting on top of the stick. If it sits on top of the stick, the bow will fall out. So we want to flow one, two, and three over the stick. Over the stick. The third step, pinky tip on top. This will be the only finger that's on top of the stick that's standing on top. And you notice that all my fingers are still curled. And my thumb is still bent underneath. And step four, the most important step of it all, relax. We don't want to squeeze. This stick is very light. Remember, if we squeeze, we'll get tired and we might get hurt also. Okay, so this is our bow hold. Quick review. Step one, holding onto a cup, bent thumb, put the thumb underneath the rubber grip. Step two, middle three fingers flowing over the stick. Step three, pinky tip on top of the stick. Step four, relax. We have written down these instructions in our music folder, and if you ever have any questions or you can't find your music folder, you just have to go to page four 
in your offer strings book and there are diagrams and further instructions about how to create the bullhead. Now for the motions. We are going to be bending our arms in two places, the wrist and the elbow. And we're first going to put the bow on our shoulders. This is a very easy, maneuverable, basic position that's friendly for our elbows and our wrists. And we can just watch our elbows and wrists while we do this. When we draw the bow downwards, you'll see that my wrist is bending and my elbow is bending. The shoulder stays relaxed. When we go up bow, same motions, just bending the wrist and the elbow. And remember not to squeeze the bow because it's a very light stick and our shoulders are basically holding on to the bow for us, as if our viola is up here. Up bow, bending wrist, bending elbow. Down bow. Remember to keep the fingers curled. And up bow. Do this several times, get used to the motion of bending in two places. Happy practicing.